Not too long ago, I debated with this vegan communist. I thought it was a rather good faith discussion until all of a sudden he called me a grifter, and, well, that conversation didn't end well. Oh, so, so you're going to take the L? Uh, no, I'm not going to take the L. You're a grifter. But, yeah, I can tell you one thing. If you're and, a and vegan, you, when then you, you were can, a conservative, you know what? You I don't care if you're a vegan. Uh, you're going to, I guess you're just going to have to eat meat and suck my dick. You, all right, you, you bye. So we decided to have a follow up conversation. So you said, I'll, uh, why are you scared to look like an idiot live? I assume that was after we had our little angry clash the first time we talked and you called me a grifter. Yeah, I just think, um, like, that was particularly in reference to like any sort of philosophical discussion. You don't seem really well um, rounded in those areas of discourse. So that's why I said you don't want to look like an idiot alive because I, I, I understand that if we talked about, you know, any sort of philosophical uh, matter or conundrum, then you would look stupid. So that's why I, I – um, Well, I, that's kind of interesting because if you're the one who's more educated, I mean you came on my stream and ended up being the one who looked – pretty fucking stupid right especially after you levied the grifter argument at me like out of left no, I mean, field i think you got i mean soon after i levied the grifter argument at you you got very emotional and you ended your stream or not ended the stream you ended the call shortly after so it seems like you didn't really appreciate that claim um maybe because it's been levied at you multiple times in the past i know it has well but it's there is it, it's true that i don't appreciate time. that it's true that i don't appreciate that claim but it's it, it, uh, um, and it's not just that it's been levied at me in the past, but it's that it's been wrongly levied at me in the past. It's an incorrect claim, and you failed to prove it as well. Yeah, so what would, how would you define a grifter? A grifter is someone who insincerely changes their beliefs for something of benefit or of gain. So, like, for example, somebody who disingenuously changes their beliefs in order to make more money. If they don't really believe that thing, then I would call that person a grifter. Well, yeah, but does, does it always have to be monetary benefit, though? No, it could be just social clout. It could be fame. Yeah, I'd argue that you've gained both of those things uh, more since you've uh, changed your beliefs. Really? I mean, what, on, yeah. on different platforms or on what? Well, no, I'm, I'm talking about just the general acceptance, just like a whole new community being formed around these new uh, belief systems that generally are uh, more like simpy towards you compared to the conservatives and are afraid to call you out on on takes that are well that's because conservatives nonsense. hate me because I actually am not a, I'm able to think for myself and I'm not a brain dead cuck and I think that trans people are human so of course conservatives hate me but uh, no if you I already had a fuck ton of followers and I had a, t a very dedicated and loyal fan base when I was a conservative it doesn't make any sense that I would insincerely change my beliefs and give all that up for what less views just to get more people that like me on Twitter? Like, I don't understand. Are, is, seriously? I mean, so you, you just admitted, though, even though you're getting less views, you're getting more like a, a social um, – like, like a social following on multiple platforms. So it seems like that in, – by your definition would be a grifter. You're gaining some sort of benefit off of changing no, your beliefs. No, it's not just – it's not just – it. first of all, even if I benefited from changing my beliefs – it would have to be insincere changing of my beliefs in order for it to actually make me a grifter. So, one, that doesn't actually prove that I'm a grifter. Two, that still doesn't make sense considering that YouTube is my primary source of income. There, It makes no sense that I would kill my YouTube channel for a little more Twitter followers. Twitter happens to be a little bit more left-leaning. So, yeah, if you're left-leaning, you're probably going to just naturally gain a little more followers on Twitter. But – Seriously? Why on earth would I give up my YouTube where I was getting like millions of views a month for not even 20,000 followers on Twitter? Wait, is it is it possible or is this a little too conspiratorial that you noticed with the current state of the culture in the United States and how things are going that in the next couple uh, coming years that the culture war is going to lean left uh, more prevalent and you're going to benefit off that in the future? Is that something that is possible? What sounds more believable to you? That, that I had this deep foresight knowledge and was like, I'm going to scheme to change my channel, yada, yada. Or I got older, I had a kid, I had my beliefs challenged, I had some retrospection, and, uh, or, in I always say retrospection. <laughs> I had some introspection, and uh, I changed my beliefs and have explained in depth as to why that is. Don't you think that's more realistic and believable?
Well, here's the thing. Uh, from my understanding, you uploaded the video, right? <laughs> Why I left the right um, yeah. last year, uh, May, May of last year, correct? Sure. Yeah. So this was after. What? This guy just cut out. Yo. Buddy, I can't hear you. Still alive. Thanks for the five bucks. Hey, Andrew, did you watch the Vosh Professor Flowers debate? Your thoughts? I haven't actually watched that yet. Maybe I'll check it out tonight. Hey, buddy, are you there? Can you hear me? Hello. God muted him. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> All right, let me try to call him back. Hey. Hey. I don't know what just happened there. Sorry about that. Please continue what you were saying. Yeah, so my claim is just uh, basically that I, I think it's not too conspiratorial to like – it's not even like foreseeing the future. You noticed that the culture is shifting to be more left, and you took advantage of that. It comes; it just boils down to that. That's that's why you didn't notice how you have no basis for that, but I'm able to demonstrate and prove, and everything kind of fits in and makes sense factually for my claim. For you, it takes all this delusional, conspiratorial thinking that perhaps I was scheming this for the long term gain of that thing, when it actually makes much more sense. It's more reasonable and coherent, my explanation. Just a guy who started making political videos when he was 19, by the time he's 22 and has a child, his beliefs have changed. If my beliefs didn't change and stayed the same from when I was 19, there would be an issue there. Yeah, I mean, I guess, um, well, were you pro, were you pro life uh, when you were conservative as well? Yeah. And I yeah, even so, back then, even back then, I said that I don't think it should be illegal. Yeah, so you're pro-life morally, but pro-choice uh, legally. More or less, yeah. Yeah, so I think that is an example of uh, just a belief that you hold that just isn't that I don't I don't think you really like care about. You're sort of trying to appeal to a specific audience with with each one of your beliefs. What That's do you mean? I am morally pro-life. I do think that that abortion is wrong. But I tend to take a more progressive approach because that's actually what's shown to reduce abortion. Again, my thought process here is completely coherent. Yeah, you, you're morally pro-life and you're you're conveniently morally uh, vegan as well. I, I don't. Yeah, think that's that the other thing too. Is I was gonna say it's funny because you're over here levying baseless accusations against me that I'm a grifter that you failed to, to prove anything really with that. But I'm able to tell you and demonstrate that I think that you are a larper and a bad faith imbecile. For example, the fact that you told me that I'm not a real vegan because I'm not a fucking communist. Yeah, so I basically said if you're not advocating for a system which uh, seeks to uh, completely eradicate the exploitation of animals, then you are not a, a vegan philosophically speaking because you'd then be in favor of advocating for a system like you do being a sock den. I do want to abolish meat eating, but I don't want to do that via communism. Yeah, so how are you going to do that utilizing capitalism to achieve a, an end goal of socialism? You can make market incentives. There can be regulations. You have to first push the public opinion towards yeah, a more plant-based diet. It would be a long, it's, it's grueling process. I don't – hold on. Stop. I don't have all the explanations right here off the top of my head, but I can tell you one thing. I think it's far more, again, believable and coherent that regulation can happen – Whereas communism never will. Okay, I, I can actually, if you want to go down that rabbit hole, I can explain how communism will happen. Uh, but but furthermore, I think that you're not. I'm not interested in it. I, I haven't read enough theory yet to understand because, it. Yeah, no, I understand. You're also not trying to advocate for any sort of legislation um, in favor of of uh, vegan um, activism, and so that, that's why mean? I call you a grifter. You don't care about these beliefs. Wait, wait, wait. What? What am I not? A, what are you talking about? Yeah, you you very rarely talk about veganism I, or engage in, in vegan dialogue or discourse. <laughs> so because I don't talk about it enough, that makes me not a real vegan? No, all I'm saying is that philosophically speaking, right, not your diet, what you eat, but philosophically speaking, 
you can't claim to be a vegan who cares about the animals, uh, but then also not want to try and use your your platform to to push those same fundamental. I do uh, use my platform all the time to talk about veganism. I talk about veganism on my stream pretty frequently. Now, granted, I don't talk about it that much because I'm still fleshing out the best way to approach arguments on that topic. This is how I approach every topic, by the way. So. I still talk about this frequently, though. I just did a stream a little while back where we went over the, excuse me, uh, a video called The Horrors of the Meat Industry. And we talked about a plant-based diet and how that can play a role in reducing climate change, yada, yada, yada. So, no, I completely it's disagree over, with you again. Though, no, no, no. Overwhelmingly, <laughs> though, your streams are just targeting, like, like mainstream what's going on, just like every other leftist streamer. And that, that's people all people want to know what's that's going on. Funny. That's not the all I care about, but people want to know it, what's it going on. It seems to be an overwhelming majority of your content along with other leftist creators. So the problem is, is that you don't seem to hold these beliefs to be true because you'd be advocating for them more. There's plenty of small channels that I watch who have. So, OK, how many video? Wait, wait, wait. Question. How many <laughs> vegan videos do I have to make per month in order for me to be a sincere, true vegan? See, that's that's not what it's about, Hunter. You know what it's about, and it's just about spreading your values more if you truly cared about them, but you don't, as we can see. Because <laughs> I haven't talked talk about LGBT shit in, like, weeks, months even. I've been no, talking about see, veganism they, they, more than that, but, I, but people still accuse me of always talking about LGBT issues. Like, what do you mean? I talk about a yeah. variety of issues. It's not just veganism, though. It's also <laughs> your uh, your fundamental values when it comes to, like, abortion and things like that you don't want to discuss these things and and push for what you truly believe in because you don't actually believe in what you're what you're spewing you're just trying to cater to an, a specific audience so that what's the will, audience uh, that i'm trying to cater to can you tell me please i, I, I don't know Psychic. i mean do you want can is there a way wait do you have video Are, am i able to turn on video so you can see my palm maybe you can read my palm and tell me what else is so going here, on inside here, my mind let me just levy this claim at you i think that in some weird way you're probably like a fifth iteration of vosh now, that being said, I also think that you're transphobic because of this. Um, you seem to have made your beliefs change complete 180 because you watch Vosh, as mm -hmm. most uh, leftists I, I engage with do, and they don't understand that he's transphobic. Why is Vosh transphobic? I mean, Vosh has openly said that engaging with uh, transgender people online is, is engaging with hypersensitivity, and he called them cancerous, those communities and spaces cancerous. So, so I, mean, I know what you clip you're talking about. That's a very yeah, old clip now that I don't even. Lost. So that's a like, very old clip. Wait, wait, wait. I'm actually going to respond to this. I, I'm not. I don't usually respond to Vosh criticism, but I'm going to respond to this. That clip's an old one. Uh, I don't even think it's on his channel any longer. I think that was from literally a deleted stream that he has since made so many pro trans videos. It's not even funny. You know that thing, actions speak louder? Hold on. You know that saying, actions speak louder than words? Sometimes I'm willing to look past one time we're out of context, something someone said sounded sort of transphobic. I'm willing to look past that and look at the body of work of that person and see that they overwhelmingly demonstrate a pro-LGBT stance. And then Hunter, it's, wait, 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 that. it's also, this is, this shows a fundamental hypocrisy on your end also, because you say that I'm not a real vegan because I don't talk about veganism enough, but now you're saying Vosh is transphobic, even though one of his main topics is gender that he talks about all the time. Yeah, because I think that the action, uh, which was committed was inherently wrong, regardless of how you try and, uh, cover it up. To appeal to your audience why so is I it covering exactly it up why can't know. it just be something it's, that was said wrong that was wrong and then you move on from it why well, like how long do you have to atone for your sins no it's not atoning for your sins it's just trying uh to not ever engage with that type of discourse again because if if you do then people should generally think that you're you're dishonest because your your core fundamental values what you actually believe in reflect when you when you promote or produce content like that and especially when you have low viewers and stuff. And, and, and then when you so start to get you more think, viewers... You don't come... you think that his content overwhelmingly reflects a pro-LGBT stance? Yeah, just like my content? Just like my but content does as well, by the way? Yeah, so I'm saying that just like uh, his original content, it was covered up. What? It, it was on a stream that he deleted because it was like a wasn't that at the very beginning of his career 
It doesn't matter, Hunter. What? Wait, so what What would make it better, though? What would fix this to you? Nothing Nothing needs to happen to make it better. Nothing, People wait, need to okay. realize that that's what the individual believes. And so that's, that's what he believes. No matter how much. Because okay, listen, got it. So you, this is no, no, no. You are, you are what's no stop. Because you are literally everything that's wrong with these dipshit terminally online Twitter fucks. You do this thing where you look at this one out of context clip, or you take this one thing that they said that's edgy or you disagree with, and then you believe till your dying breath that that one time that they spoke was their true beliefs and everything else their entire hold on and then everything else their entire body of work no that's just them masking their true beliefs that one time they said something you don't agree with this is delusional thinking i think that you have a conspiracy because you you no no because you actually didn't watch the clip if you watch the clip, you would not say that it's just an edgy out of context. Clip. I'm not it's just saying it was edgy. It was pretty. I recognize that the clip. Hold on. Can I, can no, I please to justify this? You're trying to justify this. No, I'm making this fun of your overall clip. logic. I'm not trying to justify the, ex the exact clip. I recognize how the exact clip had some definitely was like somewhat transphobic. Although I do also recognize the overall point that Vosh was originally trying to get at. Regardless, I'm pointing out a flaw in your overall logic here. It's still not a flaw because I think the flaw in your logic is that you you would have to extend this to um, anything. So you, would you say that someone who is a content creator who in early stages of their career creates um, race realism videos and then they become popular and people start watching that content and saying, hey, look, this person's racist. And, and then they, they try and cover it up by saying, oh, no, that was an out of context, edgy clip. What, what do you think? How do you analyze that situation, Hunter? Do you think that that's at all that? analogous at all? It's 100% analogous. We're just no, talking it's about not. Issues. If we're talking about a race realist, that's entirely different. Here's what this would be comparing to. This would be like someone like me. You take my clip from 2016 of me saying the transphobic shit that I used to believe, and then you wave that over my head now, even though I have since changed my stance and have made it very clear what my stance is. That would be more analogous. And that's what you're doing. Hunter, if you if you have once in the past or multiple times in the past expressed something like uh, you know transphobic tendencies and blatantly made content about it, and then you try and cover it up by by saying I switched positions now, I switched my stance, and th this is what I actually believe in because I was it's getting not hated covering on for that. it up. And it's that recognizing that I was probably, wrong. That's by your original definition being a grifter, right? You are switching your positions. For some sort of uh, benefit, which would be no, it's disingenuous. Be oh out. my God, no, you are so slippery, dude. Oh, no, so it's disin. That's what you did, Hunter. And okay, I even buddy, know it's you. disingenuously changing your beliefs. Yeah, everyone knows everyone I used. Knows. Wait, stop. Everyone knows I used to be transphobic. Yes, everyone knew this. That's part of who I am. The I used to be conservative transphobe. Now I'm social democrat. Not transphobe. That's like my thing. People know this. That doesn't make can me a someone, grifter. Can someone, can that... someone used to be racist and then not be racist anymore? Yes. Okay. So if we're going to uh, engage with that, then is it at all possible that you switched your positions entirely so that you do not have to be hated on for those uh, type of uh, positions that you held? No, because I wasn't we... hated on for those positions originally. You, I, I'm sh so you weren't hated on the, uh, by, at all by leftists? No, I was hated, sure, but I was also loved by a fuck ton of conservatives and I was making bank. Yeah, so I'd argue that at least uh, in those moments, the, the risk outweighed uh, the reward. And you took the risk of switching your positions to be rewarded with not being hated on anymore because you're you're – you're not okay. that's a nice bedtime story you're you have that's really that's cute I, I no, like that I like that you have your own little bedtime story do you tell that because to yourself you, every you, night to help you yourself sleep you were to try and engage in something that like let's talk about social democracy right because no you, I'm not gonna waste my time having a conversation with stuck yeah, up fuckwits you like you it's you not that I don't care about my values it's that I don't like talking to chuckle fucks like you that come on here levy claims that I'm a grifter and are now saying that me changing my mind on trans issues makes me a grifter what do you do you think yeah, that people are, are huh? question do you it's think that people are intrinsically racist do you think that people are intrinsically transphobic or do you think that people can change from those those ways from those thought processes uh they can change sure but i think there's a difference between changing 
uh, by, by truly changing your beliefs and changing your beliefs for a benefit. And that's what you did. You disingenuously changed your beliefs. So that How? way you can have you haven't proven people. it. No, you, you did, though. So we can, we can agree. Prove it. You because, OK, I'll prove it right now. We agree that you changed your beliefs. Right. And, yeah. and, and you did that to gain more of a social acceptance. No. Like, I like, already know, had social acceptance. Do you need me to send you the do you, wait? Wait, stop. Stop. No. Do you need me to send you picture? Do you need me? to send you photos I have of me at like TP USA events. I was getting VIP access, dude. I was in all the circles, my dude. I had the social clout. I had everything that you're describing right now that I no longer have now that I've switched my beliefs. You're Hunter, just talking you out of you your ass. So conveniently, you just so conveniently changed your beliefs at a perfect time when uh, uh, culturally people are moving more to the left in the United States. And, and you just so happen to do that at that perfect time. Are right? people mo all culturally the moving more to the left? Is that even true? Yeah, I, yeah, I think there's are. still a fuck ton of conservatives yeah, in this country. And so it's funny how you advocate for – Of course, terminally for online like, dipshits like you would think well, that. Wait, so. you, you advocate for a system like, like social democracy, but I guarantee you wouldn't even be able to engage in a conversation about it because you don't understand that much about it because you don't actually care about it, Hunter. You're a grift. That's what you are. Your whole image, your whole brand, everything you me, about dude. you is a grift. Yep, I'm such yeah, a grifter so because I changed my beliefs, denied, sincerely lost clout. Lost... That. Yeah, that's why you just denied engaging in that. That's why you just deny because you talk to someone like me who actually holds true to their beliefs. Denied engaging in what? Oh, yeah, yeah, because I don't want yeah, to yeah. – yeah, yeah, because you've proven yourself yeah, yeah. to be extremely bad faith. The last time we talked for 45 minutes or so about veganism, I was trying to be relatively good faith. And then all of a sudden out of nowhere, just left field, you started calling me a grifter. It was bizarre. I thought that we were actually know, having like a decent conversation. I don't know if the uh, neurodegenerative uh, processes are happening due to the vaccine, but if you if you remember correctly, we were talking specifically about ivermectin. Hey, are you being ableist right now? That whoa, dude! No. I, yo, no, that's no, not very I'm good for. Not. Hold on, stop. <laughs> are you serious yeah, right now? You are being blatantly ableist right now. Well, Holy not, shit! No, this you can join Vosh thing. in the naughty corner. All right, Vosh is in the naughty timeout corner for being transphobic, and now you can join him for being an ableist little. Cock. All right, go in the corner. What is being ableist? You just made fun of my brain. You just said that I was neuro di well, whatever. You're just you're yeah. You're you're totally being ableist. Well, I take that, that as a serious that offense. Yeah, you're invading my safe space, dude. This is a fucking joke. You, you're such you a hypocrite. You're over here gatekeeping, you and now you're being ableist. You misgendered me last time we talked, and you also are blatant transphobe. And you don't care about the values that you I preach. You're just doing it because you're accepted in, in a certain space. And this is your hobby. You just like to be accepted. So so yeah. that's why you're doing this. So why you're okay, wait, hunter. wait, wait. I have a sincere question, 100%. If my hobby is being accepted, why did I leave the right when I was accepted with a larger audience on the right? Because no. you wanted to no. cover up the hate you were getting for your transphobic positions, which what you hate? still hold true deep down. Yeah, you were getting hate online from the left. Because the culture is generally moving towards the left, and you understood this, I, so that's why you changed your positions. Just like multiple other you realize uh, when leftist I, I, my online. rise, part of my yeah. rise to fame, quote unquote, was my "The Truth About Transgenders" video when I only had like seven thousand subs, and I was getting totally fucking attacked. The video had more dislikes than likes. Why didn't I just leave the right then? Um, probably because you were being blinded by TPUSA and being able to do uh, speeches about what you really care about. Man, and then you just like, have a story for everything. This is adorable. Yeah, yeah. Have you ever considered it's writing a novel? You, it's funny how not only you but Xander Hall changed their position. Like, like you, you just don't really care about Xander Hall. Probably became more of a centrist social yeah. democrat because we realized that's a the realistic well, predict. No, so because we realized that's the realistic. Uh, you know, side to take, whereas you have this dumb fuck communism, which is never going right to happen. Right. See, the problem is, is you actually stifle real, sincere and genuine change. And that's what's so unfortunate, because you're up here on your high horse. 
gatekeeping and looking down on other people. Whereas we could actually be advocating for regulations. We could be advocating for more market incentives for impossible meat, for getting people on a plant-based diet. We could be working on all that, but instead, no, none of that's good enough for you until communism comes along with Karl Marx riding down on his unicorn with a golden crown. It's literally a joke. Is, no, no, here's what you want to know. What's a joke? You have how many subscribers? Over 500,000. And you're literally on here spewing social democracy, but you're not willing to engage in a dialogue about it live. This is why I said Oh, I'm willing scared. to dig. Wait, wait, wait. What? Yeah. You didn't even this ask that we talk about social democracy, you did you? Understand. You took you took the strategy of TPUSA and are just regurgitating talking points from like Vosh. Or, or other leftists on the line. And that's that's your brand. Gosh, isn't it's a boring. social like, democrat. Like, He's a market weird. socialist. You don't know yeah, anything. You're, you're this is, why would I want to have a conversation with someone who's issues. so dumb? When it comes to social issues, you sound like a fifth iteration of Vosh. And you okay. don't know what you're talking about. Cool. So And and, I, and no one's actually challenged you to um, your beliefs on your economic system. Because you, you wouldn't want to have that conversation live. I understand. I mean, I've That's admitted I that I'm not scared. super well-versed in economics necessarily. However, I'm pretty confident in saying that social democracy seems to be the most realistic approach, especially considering there are other countries that have adopted similar economic systems, and they have greater economic mobility than we have here in the United States. And over there, in those places where they have fully embraced social democracy, it's great, where they have the bigger social safety nets, uh, the universal health care, where they have embraced that, communism over there, it's a joke. That's because communism yeah, so, so, everywhere is a funny. fucking joke because it's for LARPers you're, you're, like you so that you can get yeah. up here and virtue signal – from your high horse and look down on people who are trying to push for legitimate change and say it's not good enough because it's not communism. No, I I'm not saying that to everyone. I'm saying that to you because I don't think you actually uh, are advocating for a system or just a world or society in general in which you know anything about. Because what you're saying, the, the talking points you're bringing up are just regurgitated. These are like the basic standard – like. Like every communist has to deal with these shitty talking points, and I'm not—I'm almost not even willing to engage with them, but I will. Like you're saying, communism doesn't work in every other country. You sound like a, like a typical conservative. Tell hunter. me, tell me where I, it's worked what you historically. Are, tell me where it's worked, please. Yeah, so it's worked in Albania. I'll, I'll reference Albania in 1943, I think through 45. They did have currency, however, their their system was pretty based. I'd also uh, say that every communist society in history has always ended up with a dictator of the proletariat. That's not what should happen. I think that they, they, they need to take a more reductive approach in any society to achieve communism. And it is, it'll generally produce better outcomes than social democracy will. Marxism, Leninism has worked in almost all areas of the world where it has been implemented. You can't say that just because like Russia or, or, or uh, other countries have – have adopted it in a wrong way and had a dictator. You can't. You can't. That's that's a fallacy, Hunter. Like correlation. I know. I know. It's not true. Communism yeah. until I know. I know. We've all yeah. we've all heard it a million times, you're buddy. Showing, you're showing your conservative roots. <laughs> are, are you still a conservative? <laughs> no, I'm just not a commie dipshit. That's it. Okay. See, you, you don't have to be a conservative to not be a commie dipshit. I am a Hunter, centrist social democrat. That's where I stand. Okay, centrist uh, social democrats. So, how would you uh, achieve that end goal tomorrow? How would you achieve yours? Okay, I'd say that we need to win the the culture war. Um, we don't need to take such tomorrow? a reduction. You're gonna wait. You're gonna win the culture war tomorrow. That's no, insane. no. We need to take steps to win the culture war tomorrow. Uh, we don't need to take such a reductive approach immediately. We need to utilize uh, industry and capitalism and things like technology and social media to win the culture war. And then mm -hmm. I think that we need to have some sort of like coalition um, that works their way into the DNC and kind of steers away from the traditional DNC uh, ideology and promotes more of like a, a – How are you going to do that if that's not very popular to get votes? Well, that's why I originally said we need to take steps to win the culture war, Hunter. So you want to get everyone left-leaning so that they start to vote a little bit more Democrat? No, I want to get everyone left-leaning so that they start to vote for this um, this this coalition group that, that works their way into the DNC and, and are true communists. They're called the Vanguard Party. Are you supporting the Vanguard Party right now? Yeah, I'm supporting the Vanguard Party. But isn't that dictatorial? Dictator dictatorial? Was, not Not at all.
I mean, it not in the sense that that Lenin described it. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, hold on. This was like the authoritarian shit, dude. This is the thing. Is even the the. I'll be honest. I don't have the deepest understanding of communism, but I don't need to because it's a joke. Because it's never going to happen. Even the communists today. Re hold on. Even the communists today recognize that. They are never going to actually live to see communism. So you can keep on talking about like winning the culture war via boomer memes on Facebook or whatever. I don't know how you're going to do that. I think that a better step to take is what we've already done. For example, voting for Joe Biden, Joe Biden's infrastructure plan. That's great. The child tax credit. Phenomenal. These are uh, improving social safety nets to benefit the middle class and the lower middle class that we are now seeing empirically it is working yeah it's funny you say that but you're willing to maintain the current coercive capitalist system and i think that that's just not really how we're going to help people in the long run we don't need to um just implement social safety nets and just say everyone's better but they're still subjecting themselves to the 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 market forces do you think and the people the aren't going to work in a communism them. society do, you, do I think that people aren't going to work? Yeah, do you think that, like, how are people going to work in a communism society? Communist society? Yeah, I'd argue more people would, would actually be willing to work because we're eliminating a uh, class hierarchy and class structure, and we're getting rid of us uh, people just being of a higher social status because they have more money. I think that's going to be something really big that'll make everyone just kind of realize that there's no human that's better than another just because they have money. But, of course, you would advocate for a system, as you just described, where we'll, we'll try and help the workers a little more, but we're going to make sure they're still dominated by the, by the bourgeoisie. No, it's just that, no, just it's, it's that's just that's that your thing yet. doesn't actually help the workers at all. So, for example, Joe Biden is implementing things to bolster unions. I think that's phenomenal. And another thing that Biden's uh, administration is doing is getting rid of these, quote unquote, coercive contracts that sometimes hold employees back from talking about their wages in the public uh, workspace, stuff like that. Biden is taking steps to empower the worker. These are uh, uh, benefits that these workers are going to see immediately. Your th solution still is just like this long-term magical utopia goal, essentially. No, see, that's that's not that's not true, Hunter. I'm, I'm telling you that if we win the culture war or if we just start leaning towards more leftist ideologies and pushing people to, to be more receptive towards them, that's actually going to help people more than we realize before we even um, uh, get rid of capitalism. Getting so more it'll, people it'll to accept more communism isn't going to help shit, buddy. All right. All we're going to see is more of those fucking dumb guillotine memes. So if you push for values like solidarity, uh, solidarity culturally and camaraderie and trans rights and, and just in general like anti-white supremacy, anti-racism, I think this will have a really positive outcome for minorities uh, specifically. Sure. I think, I think that's really – that sounds phenomenal. Thankfully, that has nothing to do at all with communism. Well, so, it has to do with my – wait, hold on. It has to do with what I, I would say is the best approach to communism. Like I've stated three times now, the, the culture war, these are things in specific that could help uh, make people more receptive towards leftist ideology. So after that's achieved, we will then advocate and push for uh, uh, full socialism. See, the problem with your ideology, you're just wanting to stop at just basic – like helping the workers on like a basic level. I don't think that that's any more reasonable than my than my ideology because my ideology, while it may be a little bit more extreme in how we get there, it's actually going to uh, – the end goal is actually going to be more more of the proletariat being in power. The thing is you'll never yeah. get there. That's the problem. What so like you say, I can tell because, you all, well because we can all day – we can all day every day talk about some hypothetical thing that would then be perfect for the workers. We can do this all day long, but – We've seen communism tried over and over and over and over again, and it never fucking works. And even well, what I'd, I'd argue that, yeah, I'd say communism has has never really failed. It's always been uh, due to the faults of the dictators, typically. And um, if we, if I can uh, demonstrate don't you, to you how won't we you need genes, a dictator temporarily, even? No, you would need a dictatorship of the proletariat, which which is completely different. I think people get so. Those what would two that look like? Yeah. So uh, it's a lot of people have different viewpoints on how that would be. I would say that um, essentially the 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 there's all all of the workers in one ca uh, council, right? And in one region would form like some sort of council. This is what they did in the USSR, um, and and it was it's it's sort of like a democratic system 
but the people who stood for election had to be communists. So it, if if we have that implemented, then we can we can maintain communism politically. And I'd also say that while so we do only that, able to vote we, communists. I'm I'm not sure. Yeah, what that, that prevents this is this is lower stage communist revolution. This is not um, the the utopia that Marx described yet. So this is lower stage communist revolution. Well, let's so just we'll, talk about we'll, that right there, because how would you go about doing that? Like you're going to restrict who can run or yeah, so who people can vote for or how is that going to work? Again, it's a democratic system, but the people who stood for election had to be communists. So um, the, the people are— So it's a democratic like, system, but they can choose from a group of people. So who makes that choice of who the group of people can be? Of, of who the communists can be? Yeah, of who they— of No, which no one makes that voting. choice. There's no one making that choice. This is—so you realize that in order to achieve even this lower stage uh, communist revolution, we will need to have completely— um, like like allied the proletariat with the bourgeoisie what i mean by that is the the workers need to continue to work for the capitalists but we need the communist in a, a direct positions of political power um so that way the the capitalists do not continue to spread capitalism so if that if that makes any sense like the capitalists cannot get I, any positions i understand of political power. yes okay the yeah. capitalists can't get any position of power so how do you determine who is a communist enough to be allowed to vote or uh, run for president, I guess. You don't, you don't need to determine who's going to be a communist typically because what would have happened before this would have been um, an established vanguard party who probably would take the first seats in in, um, in office. And they are the ones who are just helping to uh, like spread information about communism to the uh, like proletariat or the workers once these uh, um, events start taking place. And their job is to kind of just keep everyone politically informed. And um, they're they're typically the most exploited people of, of the most exploited class. And they care a lot about communism, okay? They're at the forefront of this revolution. But they're never going to be in a position of direct authority over the proletariat. They're trying to help the proletariat escape the shackles of the capitalists. You can so flower this, it up, make it nice flowery words. But what you're describing right now is an authoritarian, dicta dictatorial group the vanguard party is going to have the ultimate authority to make the decision on who runs and now it sounds like even what kind of information is distributed this is no. obviously pushing towards an authoritarian direction i want you to tell well, me how you think that that's going to make the world a better place hold on yeah of course it's authoritarian it's not authoritarian in the same sense of fascism though i'd say that um the reason <laughs> oh that my, you're wrong good job clap clap for this guy it's not fascism it's just regular authoritarianism Okay, I pal. In the basics of, of theory, because this isn't this is what someone would call leaning towards uh, being a tanky. However, the difference is is that the Vanguard Party would never be in a in a, a position of direct power over the workers. So they would be um, the ones spreading the information. They wouldn't be holding anyone against their will, but they would also be the ones in the position of political authority or power. That doesn't mean that the workers are going to have to do whatever they say. The workers are still going to be working for the capitalists. The Vanguard Party, the workers are going to love the Vanguard Party because at, at the time the Vanguard Party is in office and in Washington, the workers are going to be the ones who um, are, are seeing the end goal. They know that that the capitalism is about to crumble. They know they're not going to have to work for stupid capitalists anymore who, who treat them like shit. And okay. they are relying on the and Vanguard And then how are you going to keep the co economy afloat? And how are you going to determine like the value of said labor if it's just going to oh, be a labor so economy? We're jumping right into it. Yes. Yeah, so I actually think labor theory of value is pretty based. Um, but I, I, I think there's other other um, people who have talked about better economic structures. However, Marx, I think Marx even said that once we reached that point, we've already succeeded. Yeah, uh, just end, stop. Uh, you've Marx succeeded. OK, OK, enough. You've succeeded in proving to everybody what kind of delusional. This sounds like a fucking uh, um, Lord of the Rings plot that I'm listening to right now. No, there's not going to be your not fascist but authoritarian vanguard party anytime soon, okay? That's not going to happen. So let's actually work within the realm of reality. Again, we always come back to this pesky little place called reality, which is we need to work within the current system that exists right now. I don't think that you're going to be able to overthrow the system anytime soon unless you're – I guess maybe you're probably fine admitting that you'd be for like some kind of a bloody revolution, but we don't need to get it.
we don't need to get down that road anymore. You're like this delusional, tanky vegan that honestly, I don't think my brain can take much more of this, but all right. The issue is you didn't even let me um, start to like draw out how the like beginning stages would be achieved. Realistically, I don't need to Mom hear this a. anymore. This, I, well, I can, you can go write your novel, was, go write your fan fiction well, down well, you and spread it you right jumped around. You jumped around to specific questions, which occur later on. Um, and you like specifically what, how are we going to like determine how, uh, labor is valued and, and stuff like that. You're not letting me explain it, which is fine, but then you can't make the claim that this isn't reasonable when I have a reasonable explanation. And number two, of course you're you have a reasonable explanation not, because well, the, you're claiming that this is fascist or has fascist tendencies. I'd ask you, what are the two tenets of fascism? I'm not saying that it's fascist. I'm just saying that saying it's not fascist, but authoritarian doesn't actually make it sound much better. So do you think that author authority equals fascism? I just don't know how you no, under No, but authoritarianism does. And here's what happens. I Here's what's really going to happen if we want to look at history, okay? The vanguard party is going to take over, and we see this happen. People take power. They don't want to give it up. This is inevitable. This is how it plays out in history. And I was only asking the theory of labor question because down the line, hypothetically, if you do get to that point, that's another huge problem, which is how are you even going to determine the value of said labor? But it doesn't actually matter. We don't need to get down that road because – hold on. Because we can look at history. We can see what's happened with these uh, – not fascist but authoritarian vanguard parties in the past, okay? And I don't think that terminally online Twitter user 00112 has somehow unlocked the secrets to communism and is somehow smarter than all of these historical figures that tried to establish communism and failed and it resulted in dictatorships and death. Hunter, so again, um you're you're trying to equate authoritarianism to somehow having fascist like tendencies or, or I will tell you something the most authoritarian okay. thing I can say right now is we're done with this call and you're fired. Yeah, so, All right. No, Thanks no, so no, much for coming me. on. Fascism Thank you for proving that you are I know, I, I know you're smooth brained. I know you're smooth brained, but to, to no, no, no. I'll give you props because it, you're 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 definitely like knee deep in this fan fiction. And totalitarianism, okay. Okay. Those I just hope that one day you're able to recognize that you're living in the realm of fantasy, my friend. Anything about politics? Join okay? us. You just follow the light to reality, okay? Yeah, yeah, follow lost. the light to reality. Hunter, Hunter, you lost. It's you right over here. You got blown out. You're right. I got BTFO'd by the Vanguard Party. Yep. You don't understand what fascism is. You're, you're trying to claim that I didn't even approach. make a fascist you're argument. Fascist. All right, buddy. Authoritarian fascist. Vanguard Party has voted uh, to vote. kick you, ban fascism you, and uh, yeah, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, Bye, fascism. buddy. <laughs> Time had gone by, and in fact, I had almost started to forget about this little loser when suddenly he randomly called me again in the middle of a different stream segment. What? Hunter. What do you want? Why are you leaving when you, when you get BTFO'd on every point? Are you serious? This is why I should have blocked you so that I don't have to keep uh, I'm on sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just, just a genuine question. I wasn't getting BTFO'd on anything. You were spreading your tanky garbage sure. and I wanted to get on to the next topic. Oh, you just didn't really understand it? Is that is that? Yeah, that's true. Saying? Yep. Uh-huh. I want to go read some more. I, I got to go read some more theory. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Keep being a grifter. All right, yeah, I'll go read some more theory, and I'll go. Yeah. I'll go look at some hentai okay, too, so I can get on your level. Yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Go fuck you, yourself, you kid. Change. <laughs> you want to block him now? <laughs> Why does he call me in the middle of my shit, dude? Come on. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when I drop a new video.